Hey there, Javi here with BarrelLenses.com and on today's quick tip, we're gonna tell you how to get the best audio out of your wireless lavalier microphones. So let's start with the basics. What is a lavalier? Also known as lavs and lapel mics, lavalier microphones are small, wearable microphones that allow hands-free operation. They come in both wired and wireless variations, but wireless lavaliers are the most common. They come with a microphone, a transmitter, and a receiver. And aside from being able to pin them on your talent, wireless lavs allow you to be untethered from your audio recording device, ideal for subjects who will be moving around unpredictably. Wireless lavs are useful for documentary, news, and any run and gun situation where you might not have a boom operator. So our first tip for using wireless lavaliers is knowing what kind of microphone your wireless pack uses. Microphones have various pickup patterns from the famous narrow pattern of a shotgun mic to the 360 degree pattern of an omnidirectional microphone. Nine times out of 10, lavalier microphones use omnidirectional microphones, which means that the direction of the mic is less important than the distance to your source. If you were to place a microphone an appropriate distance from your audio source, it won't matter if it's not pointing directly at it. Our second tip is about placement. The ideal distance for a lavalier microphone to be worn by talent is between their sternum and their throat. If you put your mic too close to your subject's throat, your audio could sound boomy because it's picking up too much of the low end register. Place your mic any further and you're gonna have to crank up your game and introduce unwanted noise. Think about which direction your subject will be speaking to. If your talent will always be facing to their right to speak to an interviewer, it would make sense to place the mic on that side of their chest or body as opposed to dead center for better audio quality. Another note on placement. Most wireless lavs come with a clip that is great for quickly attaching lavs to articles of clothing. Mic clips also allow you to create a little loop to provide tension relief for your microphone's cable. When you have to tape your microphone to your talent, most pros will use moleskin, which has a sticky side and a soft cotton side that reduces the rustling created by clothes. In a pinch, you can also use a little gaff tape triangle that ends up being sticky on both sides and makes it easy to mount a microphone. With both moleskin and gaff, it's a good idea to tint your microphone or put layers of the tape on both sides of the mic, leaving a little pocket for your lav to rest in. This will also help reduce rustling noise from clothing or movement. Now our third tip, how to hide lavalier microphones. This is often going to depend on the clothing your talent is wearing. Button down shirts are often the easiest since you can clip the microphone in between buttons to easily hide it or tape them in the inside of a collar and run the cable down the talent's back. Another easy one is when your talent has layers. A t-shirt like this one with an open jacket gives me plenty of room to clip the mic directly onto the shirt and hide it under the jacket. Women's clothing sometimes poses a different challenge, especially if the shoulders are exposed. A great trick is to have talent clip the microphone to the straps of their bra or to the center between both cups. Of course, there's always the option of taping the mic directly onto your talent's skin under their clothing. Remember to use those little tape tents to reduce clothes rustling and have it taped to an area where the mic bulge won't be noticeable. Our last tip is about set etiquette when using lavs. When you're working with microphones that will be worn by talent, you'll be getting into people's personal space. Communicate with talent before you do anything and ask for permission. Give your talent the option of placing the mic themselves, especially if the microphone will go under someone's shirt. More often than not, your talent will be more than happy to follow your instructions and get the mic placed themselves in the ideal position. And those are our tips for using wireless lavalier microphones. Got a question? Leave it in the comments below, and if you wanna try a wireless lavalier mic for yourself, you can at barlenses.com. Thanks for watching.